Good day everybody, my name is Joy Annabelle Jimenez and today I'll be sharing with you one classroom activity showcasing a positive use of ICT to promote ecological literacy, critical literacy, and artistic literacy of our learners. But what is ICT? Information and Communication Technologies, defined as technological tools and resources used to transmit, store, create, share, and exchange information. But class, how about can you give me one technological tool that you think is very useful in a classroom setting? Mm -hmm. PowerPoint presentation, that's correct. Laptops, cell phones, yes, those are their digital tools, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Canva, very good. It is believed that positive use of ICT can help impact learners' achievements. However, safety is everyone's responsibility. In the use of ICT as a learning tool and platform for communication, as teachers, our role is to ensure that our students are using these di digital technology and media in a positive and ethical way. So today, I think Infographic making is one good strategy to promote our learners' literacies. So actually asking them to make an infographic uh, concept with, the, with a certain theme would definitely evoke their artistic and critical literacy. Well, to involve their ecological literacy, we can ask our students to make use of themes related to ecology. Now, the task is to work with your designated group and collaborate to make an infographic showing how relevant sustainable lifestyle is. You can animate it or make use of relevant images related to the topic. And add short but relevant information. It can be in a form of word, words, phrases, sentence. It's up to you. You can make use of softwares like Canva, Prezi, Power Presentation, Adobe, Lightroom, anything. So share your output uh, during our synchronous Zoom next meeting. So in order for us future teachers to be effective and to be well prepared in the future, I'll be asking you to make an infographic about sustainable lifestyle that we can share to our future students. For today's activity, our objectives are to put learning while having fun, to get learners creating with the freedom to choose and be self-independent in creating and presenting their work. To promote rich context, to promote collaboration and participation, and of course to think critically and creatively. Be creative as much as you want. Now, my instruction is form a group with four members and brainstorm on coming up with an infographic with a theme related to sustainable lifestyle. But before we begin, it's important you understand what you are creating. An infographic, short term for information graphic, is um, a visual representation of data presented in an easy to understand and read format. In the case of interactive infographics, of course, they should also be easy to use. Infographics are simply complex information and make it easier for the average person to digest. Aside from being trendy, they are a great way to communicate to your audience and even win them over. Let's take a look at the five elements of infographics. First is the story. So an infographic without a story is just graphic. You gotta ask yourself these questions. Am I telling a story? What is this story for? Or who am I telling this story for? Two. Next is data. It has to be accurate and mindful of your references, especially online. Next, we have copy. Of course, you have to consider where you think this um, piece of information can be posted, can be on social media, not just in a classroom setting. So come to think of it. Next element would be the design. 
So it should be based on the story, of course. So our main theme for today is sustainable lifestyle. Therefore, you should include the images that are related to sustainable, uh, sustainable lifestyles. Last are the graphs and charts. So you can actually just add these or not. It's up to you. But mind you that these are very, very helpful to make your output uh, formal looking and uh, valid. And now let's let's take a look at the steps in coming up your infographic. So first, of course, you should search on the meaning of sustainable lifestyle. Um, next is get data gathering, and then you analyze whether the information and images you gathered are relevant to the included to be included in your infographic. And then you organize your thoughts and input your ideas, create your output, and just be creative. And then lastly, you're going to present that in our next class. All right, so now that we were able to define infographic, present our objectives, I uh, also included steps in making your infographic. Of course, at the end of the day, after your presentation, we will be assessing your output or your presentation. So this criterion that I have given you will be um, will be uh, will be taken into consideration. So first we have the content of your infographic that will be five points. Creativity, five points. Your presentation, five points. So a total of 15 points. So good luck and enjoy making your infographics. Bye-bye.